Aquaculture is an important industry in Norway. With millions of Atlantic salmon farmed along the coast, generating millions of meals worldwide each day. But lurking in that sparkling seawater is a challenge. Salmon lice. Lice feed on mucus, skin and blood, and if not controlled, can wound and stress the salmon. Lice reproduce and replicate on farms, which exacerbates the problem. Atlantic salmon are particularly vulnerable, but some other salmon species, such as coho, have natural defences against lice. So, what's their secret to success? Coho and pink salmon may not secrete the sort of natural chemicals that attract lice. And immune cells in the skin and blood play a role in responding to lice when they do attach. Changes in gene activity within cells, in response to infection at the site of lice attachment, can be measured to find important signals driving the salmon's immune response and investigate the ability of lice to suppress the host's immune response. Gene editing is a powerful new technology with high precision. It will allow us to test gene functions and assess possibilities for mimicking the lice resistance mechanisms found in other salmon species. For example, it could be used to prevent production of lice-attracting molecules, hiding or disguising the Atlantic salmon from the louse. Like testing a vaccine, we can test the effectiveness of editing particular genes in a biosecure facility and model how these technologies could be most effectively used to immunise the entire farmed population of fish. The CRISP-Resist project will fully explore the potential for using gene editing to prevent lice infestation. This will allow society to make informed decisions about whether and how these technologies should be deployed. <laughs>